Hi, I'm just going to do a demonstration on how to use Zernal as a presentation tool. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation, but it's close enough for now. So sometimes when you're showing a document uh, digitally, you may want to make some changes to it, add a few notes, um, change an equation here or there. And with a PDF, that can be a bit difficult. So this is, um, program's perfect for that. Now first, we just need to open up a PDF for annotation. Got one here, ready to go. We're going to press F11 and that'll switch to full screen mode. And the up and down keys will navigate between pages. So we'll just go down a few pages. Now let's say I want to circle an equation. I'm going to do that like so. I'm in pen mode. Uh, to do that, just press Control Shift P. I can also write with that. Um, a graphics tablet would be better for this, but just to demonstrate it, the mouse will do. You get the idea. And I can also go into a highlighter mode, Control Shift H, and let's say I want to highlight this equation over here, and it's highlighted. Now if you make a mistake, let's say I just do a bit of a scribble here, and I go back to pen mode, Control Shift P, and I have a bit of a scribble just in this section here. I can undo that, just Control Z, and those mistakes will go away. Now the beauty of this is, if I press F11, go back to the, um, the menus here, I can then export to PDF. Uh, let's just save that in that folder. Now we'll minimize it. We'll open that file up. We'll go down through the file. All right, and we can see those changes that we made are saved in this file here. You won't be able to undo them um, if you wanted to, but you know, you, you save the original file and, as a backup. So if you were to do a lecture or a presentation, you can go in with your original notes, make annotations and little uh, additional um, notes as you go along, save the PDF and then print them out later for I don't know, class notes or anything like that. One problem you may come across after installing Zernal is uh, after you install it and go to full screen, by default it has these menu bars up the top here and they kind of get in the way a little bit if you're try trying to do a presentation. So to get rid of them, we'll exit out of full screen. You need to go into the options menu and go save preferences. I'll close this. And what that does is it creates a configuration file in the Zernal directory under your home directory. So we'll just ls that. And there's a config file there. So we'll open that up in nano. Oops, just exit out of that. Nano config. And you need to edit that one line in here. Where is it? It is interface full screen. It's got main toolbar, pen toolbar, and draw area. The only one we really want there is the draw area, so we'll delete these here. And we'll save that. Okay, and then we'll reopen the program. Go to full screen. And those toolbars are gone. So you can configure that any way you want. You might want the um, one of the toolbars there and not the other, so how you want to set that up is uh, up to you. Okay, thanks for watching.